everybody welcome to my channel this is Ogo Wadi how are you guys doing it's a lovely day it's a beautiful Monday um, a beautiful month that has just begun August we thank God for this beautiful month I'm happy to be alive I believe you are happy to be alive so how are you guys doing how is the weather treating you guys today I decided to sit outside my my house because it's it's really hot the air condition is not really i don't know it's not just enough for me so i decided to do this little talk outside don't mind the people walking around it's just you know people are walking around this area are you guys okay so i'm here with my kids they just want to run around a little bit all right guys i want to talk quickly about something my the title of this as you can see is, uh, says how comfortable are you in your skin what do i mean are you a dark skinned girl you white skinned girl or what should i say how comfortable are you in that skin that god created you in yesterday i happened to come across a show in, uh, on Netflix something about skin I should say I didn't get to finish watching it because it got to a stage it was just too emotional listening to what some of them have to say I couldn't really believe it I know that some people are not um, okay or happy with their color of skin but I didn't know somebody could actually think about taking their own life because they feel they are too dark skinned oh my god I have a lot to learn guys let me tell you something the bible says that we are created and i mean we are made in god's image so if god is telling you that you are made in his image who are you to question him god chose me or god to be dark skinned who am i to question him i love my college i feel proud of it i mean I feel on top of the world with it because you know when you hear that statement that says black don't crack, yes. I could have a wound in my body. When it heals, you will not see the scars anymore. Why? I am dark skinned. I'm not saying it's the same with every other person, but most dark skinned people. You could have, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, some blemishes in your face, your skin or wherever. And it's not really noticeable like that. I'm not saying white skin or lighter skin is not good. It is beautiful. But that you are a dark skinned person doesn't make you a lesser human being. I remember when I was in the, um, in the university, my first year, I happened to school in the eastern part of my country because um, I needed to know the culture and I needed to learn how to speak the language properly. So my mother encouraged me to school in the eastern part, which is where I come from, of Nigeria, where we speak the language called Igbo. I got there and I realized that the end thing was light skin. If you're not a light skin girl, you are not considered beautiful. If you're not a light skin guy, you are not handsome. Wow. Can you imagine that? And I was seeing it as a joke initially until, I mean, <laughs> you know how you will be walking with your friends and um, maybe a guy stops and say, hi, can I speak with you? And of course he said, hi, you didn't mention anybody's name and everybody turns around. The next thing you hear, oh no, I'm talking to the light skin one. <laughs> that is so funny, the light skin one. And then the light skin one feels on top of the wall. Who told you that your light skin makes you beautiful? Who told you that your dark skin makes you ugly? Where did you get that theory from? Because I know that all things created by God is good. I do not know the name of that actress. I mean, not an, yeah, she's also an actress, a model. She is super dark. But believe me, look at how her black, dark skin is shining. She's maintaining it. And look at where it has taken her. Far, far, far in life. A top-notch model. Why won't she be happy in her skin? I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about accent today. That will be a vlog of another day. Today is skin. Guys, I want to tell you, whatever skin color you find yourself, be happy with it. Be comfortable with it. 
I mean, feel proud with it. If you think, oh, maybe it's looking a little dull, just go ahead, use some nice shea butter, some nice cocoa butter, some nice Vaseline, something to, to make it shine. Let your dark skin shine. Let it shine. Love yourself. Love yourself. It's as simple as that. Why would you want to commit suicide because you're dark skin? You feel less desirable? Let me tell you. I feel very desirable. I feel so beautiful. I think I look beautiful. I am one step to this world. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. You can give this video a thumbs down. But I'm telling you, I am on top of the wall with my color. My skin color. I love me. I do me. God knew that this color was going to be suitable for me. So he decided to give me this wonderful color. Made me in his image. I look like my God. That's what the Bible told me. You look like your God. We have one God. He is a wonderful God. You see why you cannot fathom the depth of his love. You cannot. Because you can't say he's white. You can't say he's black. You can't say he's brown. He is everything. That is why we are all in the same, the same different shades of color. We are all unique. We are all beautiful. Beloved, if anybody is telling you that you're not beautiful, you're not desirable because you're dark skin, tell the person, oh, I guess you do not know the God you serve. Because the God that created me and you is the same God, and he chose you to be lighter, he chose me to be darker. That don't take anything away from me. Being lighter, does it make you rich? I don't think so. Being darker, does it make you poor? I don't think so. I know a, I have a friend that is white and every time she said, God, I wish my skin was dark. And I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her. I wish she could be on my video right now to say how she so much desi desires to be dark. I said to her, you need to love the way you love the color you are in. God wanted you to be white. That's why he made you so. Stop putting yourself down. Stop killing your self-confidence. Lift up your spirit. Wear something colorful. Make yourself beautiful. Make yourself desirable for people to want to have something to do with you. Don't say because you're dark, your self-esteem is low. Or you just... Uh. No. You got to walk as if you're on the cloud. You're on top of the world. That's how you have to walk. Love yourself. Stop using those bleaching creams that harms your body. Changes your skin kills your cells and the pigmentation that God put there. Stop. Some people say, I just want to turn it up a little bit. What are you turning? How about make it shine? I love to use a lot of natural stuff. I love to make it myself. You know why? Because I want it to make my skin glow. If it's dark, make it bright, looking brightened, not lightened, brightened. You know, there's, dark skins are brightened. If you take care of it. You see, when you're dark skin, you don't even have to look for a special cream, a special soap. <laughs> you are so lucky. Because you want to maintain your skin. If you're light skin, you want to look for this expensive soap. You want to look for this expensive uh, uh, cream and all that to maintain your light skin. Please, blue skin Vaseline is good for me. The most I could go is Neutrogena oil. It's just an oil still made of sheer butter make my skin glow bright looking shiny please love yourself love your skin that you are in be comfortable in your skin be comfortable who god made you to be don't let anybody tell you otherwise i wish you guys would go to netflix and, netflix and watch that um is it do i call it a, a movie or a show it's called skin oh my god i couldn't finish it when I heard what people were saying, wow. Let me tell you, from day one, I loved my skin. I loved who I was. The only thing I would say I used to have issue with when I was growing up, I felt I was too tall. I used to cry that I want to be shorter. And I felt I was too skinny. And guess what? When I became so big, let me not use the word fat, I started looking for how to lose weight. And I reminded myself, I remember when I used to pray to God to make me be fat, like she said. I mean, human, human beings want are insatiable. But with the skin part, 
don't offend God. Don't tell God he made the mistake because what that's what you're trying to tell him. God, you made a mistake by making me this color. No, appreciate God. Appreciate how you are. Whether you're black, you're white, you're brown, whatever color, shade you find yourself in. Walk like a princess. Walk like a queen. Walk like a king. It hurts me when I see men that bleach. It kills my heart. And the smell that comes out from these people's skin. Oh my God, I don't know if somebody tells them that your body smells, especially when it's summer or when the weather is so hot. No matter the perfume, no matter the deodorant, you still have that skin smell because what? You have touched what God did. You have done it to, to, to suit you the way you want it to be. Believe me, leave your skin the way you are. Make it brightened by doing what? Let it shine. Don't turn it. If it's dark, brighten it up by making it shine. Shea butter, Vaseline and all that. So much natural stuff you could use. And you will not regret it. Think about it. What do you think about brown skin? What do you think about dark skin? What do you think about light skin? What do you think about bleaching? What do you think about toning? Leave it at the comment box below. Let's talk about this. Like I said, it's just my opinion. I think, you know, you thinking you're less desirable because you're dark makes no sense. It makes no sense. Love yourself. Love the color you find yourself in. Love the way you look. Just maintain yourself. If you're a lady, try to maintain yourself. Look good. You don't have to be rich to look good. With a cloth of 1,000 naira or $1 or $5, you can still look good, better than the person wearing $1,000 or 100,000 Naira clothes. Be you. God bless you all. I'm sorry to have taken your time, but I just wanted to throw this out there. Stay safe, stay blessed. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video, share this video, leave me a comment, and you know, let's talk. Have a wonderful day, and God bless you in this month of August. May all you do prosper. Bye.